Elgato have just released a brand new version of the Wavelink software that will make your voice sound like this, kind of average, to this in a matter of seconds with one button. Let's talk about it. Okay, so immediately you're going to notice some changes in the app itself. There are some aesthetic changes. You've got some buttons here now. Some of the colors in that have changed. We're not going to focus too much on the aesthetics, but that has been updated, which is appreciated. The first thing that I want to jump into and the thing that has blown me away and I've used it non-stop since getting access to the 2.0 software is in here in the effects tab and it's called voice focus. Now, when you're setting up a microphone, normally you have to add in a bunch of things that adjust your EQ or echo removal, reverb removal, DSs, and things like that, just to make your voice sound a little bit more prominent and get rid of some of the background noise that comes with every single microphone. Voice Focus does all of that for you, so if you don't want to worry about plugins and things like that, you can actually just you know, turn off all of these, for example. Now, this is what your voice would sound like, just straight out of the box, no adjustments or anything like that, but then you flick that switch and all of a sudden it just gets so much better. And then if you want to, like I say, you can go in, add your EQ so that it makes my voice sound a little bit closer to reality. It adds that depth that I like to bring out and then just a couple of other settings as well that just make your life a little bit easier but for the most part voice focus does everything for you now one other thing they've added in the audio effects tab is this guy right here because traditionally if you wanted to monitor all these changes that you're adding you wanted to make sure the eq wasn't too harsh or that the noise remover wasn't too strong you would have to open up audacity or adobe audition or some tool that let you listen to yourself back and then you could tweak all the changes you don't have to do that anymore because you see right down here we have an option to get a live feedback of all the effects as we toggle them on and off. So for example, if I go ahead and get rid of the one that I already have, and then we're going to hit the record button and just say anything that we want. Hey, this is a test of the Wavelength 2 software. Hopefully it sounds pretty damn good. Now let's listen to that back. Hey, this is a test of the Wavelength 2 software. Hopefully it sounds pretty damn good. Okay, so now I know what my voice sounds like, but if I wanted to make adjustments, I would normally open up the software and then redo it, right? Well, we don't actually have to do that anymore. If we just wanted to turn off the EQ and the the voice focus, it automatically applies those changes so that I can hear what that now sounds like without those effects. Hey, this is a test of the Wavelength 2 software. Hopefully it sounds pretty damn good. Definitely sounds better with the EQ and the voice focus on. Let's put those back. <laughs> now, I think the people that play with audio on a regular basis, just trying to make that microphone sound as good as possible, they can really appreciate this. And like I said, the live feedback and the voice focus uh, effects that I've been using in my videos for the past couple of weeks while I've been testing this, and it's amazing so far. So well done, Elgato. You've blown it out of the park yet again. Now, something else that I found pretty cool, and I, I'm sure this is a new feature because I don't remember seeing it before, but you can actually toggle all of these effects right here and the voice focus using the Stream Deck. Yes, I am going to be talking about the Stream Deck. It's my favorite product. I need to <laughs> integrate it into this somehow. But let's say you're in the middle of a stream. You can actually just open up the Stream Deck and you add these new effect options right here in the Wavelink plugin. You can just drag those over and adjust toggle any effect that you'd like. So let's say I want to toggle the voice focus mode. I just tap the button and it does it for me. A better use example of this, mostly for streamers, if you want fancy voice effects, there is an effect like the Pip-Boy voice effect right here, which adds a bunch of Fallout kind of effects. Shout out to all of my Fallout fans. I know you're there somewhere. But normally if you were live streaming, you would have to go into the Wavelink software, turn it on, do it that way. But not anymore. If we go ahead and open up the Stream Deck, once again, we can toggle this effect. So if I go ahead and tap the button, you can to see that my voice now sounds like it's straight out of the Fallout universe. That's uh, not something I really need on for today's video though. Now I've noticed that Elgato are focusing more on adding these plugins and voice effects and things like that directly inside of the Wavelink software. Like I said, we've got the Pip-Boy one and there's a bunch of other ones. If you want to look for some, you can go add effect, get more audio effects and it'll open up their official store where you can go ahead and get compressors and stuff like that. There's also like a Black Ops themed one. Play around with them, see which work best for your workflow. Now a couple of things to note about the voice focus mode. It can only be used with Elgato's official mics, whether it's the Wave 3, the Neo or the DX. All of those will work absolutely fine, but if you're using a third party mic, then unfortunately you don't get access to that specifically, but you can still go ahead and add in your own plugins and effects and use that, just not the voice focus. Then second, it's also worth saying, and this is one of my concerns when they first announced this, is that the voice focus mode uses machine learning. Now that's a bit of a hot topic at the moment, but here's the thing, they don't store any data, nothing is used, no voice samples are used for training models and stuff like that, which again, I recognize may be a concern, and also it's CPU based. So for people who are already using
using GPU heavy stuff, whether it's gaming specifically on your PC while live streaming, you've got a background removal thing. You don't have to worry about overloading your system because I haven't noticed any change in performance because it's CPU based and it's, I want to say it's virtually undetectable in terms of how much processing power it actually uses to make this happen. But I do want to stress how much I appreciate Elgato not just sending everybody's data off for machine learning stuff. A lot of companies, especially in this day and age, would have taken advantage of that. So the fact that they haven't and they're actually, again, considering their users and just trying to deliver a great product, uh, it's much appreciated. So thank you. OK, so a couple of other things that we should probably talk about, because again, these are big changes in the way that Wavelink works, is the fact that we can now link specific software to our inputs. So here we have the system input. And the way this used to work is you would have to go manually into your PC settings and say, hey, can you send this sound, this music or this gameplay, whatever, to Wavelink and let Wavelink manage it. And you had to do this for pretty much every single application. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. And it was kind of hit and miss. Now it's a lot easier, actually. You just tap right here and you can select any window or whatever is open. So let's say I wanted to add Discord to my system sounds. I can just go ahead and tap that and automatically all of Discord's audio will then go through my system input and I can change this in the middle of a stream like so, which is pretty handy. Likewise, if we want to add a Discord to its own channel, then we can get rid of Discord from here. Go ahead and make a new channel, call this voice chat, add an app, add Discord over here and voila, just like that, it's got its own channel, which is pretty sweet. Again, this is more of a big deal for streamers who have multiple things coming in all at once and you need to monitor everything live. But being able to select individual software to go into Wavelink makes the whole process so much easier. Then yet again, to make life easier for creators, you have all these inputs and outputs and stuff like that. And that can get a little bit confusing and overwhelming. Before, let's say we had voice chat, music, system and all this kind of stuff. And it would constantly be displayed as an option. So if we wanted to select our input, see, we have all this down here. We have music and voice chat and system. And before Wavelink 2, you would always have those available. There was no way to get rid of the ones that you weren't using. You can do that now. If we go ahead and get rid of the voice chat input like so, it's gone. So there's no voice chat here whatsoever. So if you want a really simple system where you only have your PC audio and your gameplay, you can do that now. And again, it makes life easier. <laughs> this is a reoccurring thing with Elgato. It, it seems like they're actually out to help people. It's crazy. Now, Elgato have also added a function for people who are unfamiliar with the Stream Deck and you want to kind of get an idea of how to use and control Wavelink and all of your audio sources with the Stream Deck, but you're not too familiar with it. Because the idea of setting up automations and functions and plugins and all this kind of stuff, it can be a little bit daunting. And that's why I've made a whole series dedicated to sharing all of those tips and tricks about the Stream Deck in my Stream Deck secret series. There'll be a link down below if you want to learn more about that. But for those of you who want a simple solution, you can just go up here, tap this button, and it will automatically add a profile to your Stream Deck where you can control everything that you have going on with Wavelink. So this little box will come up here and it'll say on which device do you want to use this plugin because I have multiple stream decks and then just go install and just like that you have a fully functioning system with its own icons and stuff like that you can go to different profiles you can go and control your different audio sources and the fact that you can again do this with just one tap of a button makes life so much easier I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot today just by saying that one phrase but it's true for somebody who doesn't know how this stuff works and you're just getting started the ability to add everything with one tap of a button it's incredible so that's pretty much all for today. If you have any questions about Wavelink 2, let me know. Or if you have any functions that you want added to the Stream Deck that aren't already there, let me know. I'll be more than happy to make it, whether it's through a video like this or we put it as part of the Stream Deck secret series. I'm here to help and I try to reply to every single comment I get on this channel because I recognize that using software like this can be kind of daunting for people who are new to streaming and things like that. But for now, thank you to Elgato for hooking me up with the software early. It's been a joy to play with and I can't wait to see where all this goes in the future because what Elgato is doing right now, man, nobody is doing it at this level level and it makes me so proud to be a part of that i love your faces thank you so much for watching today's video make sure you tap that subscribe button and i will catch you in the next one